Hey guys, this is uh, just an overview, not a not a build video. Uh, obviously, it's already built, and <laughs> I didn't uh, bother doing this while I was building it. Um, but basically, it's a uh, and I'll have a, a bill of materials with some costs for you guys. Um, but basically, it's a, a a Hammond electronics enclosure. You can find them at DigiKey, Mauser. Um, I wouldn't go to Amazon or eBay there. You'll probably pay too much and too much in shipping. Uh, but anyway, um, customize it with nibblers, which are, uh, it's a little hand tool that you use to uh, cut little bites out. Uh, so that's how I got the panels cut out. And then obviously like for the round things, uh, just use the, a drill and some bits. Um, so I'll go through all the all the controls. So that's power for obviously the the LCD, and uh, it's hooked up. And I will cut and and show you the back as well. Um, it is hooked up to my PC uh, via HDMI. Uh, full control. Uh, I broke all the buttons out to be on the outside of the of the enclosure here. Um, because the, the LCD was a, a full unit, totally enclosed. Um, it does have speakers, or the, the LCD had speakers. Uh, I haven't hooked them up, but I may. But here's a volume control. And then the menu for all the settings, like brightness and, you know, just dif different things. So I can fully control that there. It's also hooked up uh, uh, for touch. Uh, right now, it uh, looks like it's. I gotta reset it to be touch on this screen. It's it's actually showing on my larger monitor, um, but it is touch, so I can do little things on that, uh, similar to like a tablet, PC or something. Um, <clears throat> these are all uh, set to launch the apps in my taskbar. Uh, that's mainly uh, what I want to use it for, but it is fully reprogrammable. Uh, there's the reset switch uh, if I want to uh, flash a new um, firmware to uh, to the board um, and then the middle one actually is a system shutdown for the PC so I can just uh, one tap and uh, shut down the whole system um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, launch the system monitoring dashboard that I have so I'll take a second just to load up and there you can see, uh, now I have a readout um, right in front of me uh, to see the uh, diagnostics of my system, temperature, uh, usage, connection, volume, you know, different things. Um, so I used Ada64 Extreme for that. Uh, I believe you can use it for free, but some things are locked, um, but it's fairly cheap. It's like don't quote me on this, but I think maybe forty dollars. Zoom back out. Okay. Uh, on the sides here, you can see the the macro pad and the keyboard are plugged in uh, with some, oh, I guess, Weipu <laughs> is the way you say it. Uh, the connectors, um, and then the control knob here uh, powers uh, the keyboard or delivers power to. The keyboard and macro pad um, so in this position uh, both are off you may be able to see some lights here uh, I don't really use the lights but I turn them on so that you may be able to see them there we go a couple red lights there uh, so position one is uh, keyboard and then position two is keyboard and macro pad so that's all the external uh, controls um, what I'll do is I'll cut and uh, show you uh, the back and how everything gets hooked up. So here are the connectors. They're all panel mount connectors um, that I just got off of uh, Amazon. Uh, but you can see I got them labeled here. Uh, so HDMI, the power for the LCD uh, is USB-C. Macro pad uh, 2, which is the macro pad on the console, is uh, micro USB. And then 
uh, just two USBs. Um, these are technically 3.0, but uh, using them as 2.0 uh, go to the side ports for the uh, external macro pad and the keyboard. Um, so I, I went ahead and uh, unscrewed the uh, screws on this so I can try to open it up. All right, so it's not too crazy. Um, as you can see, all the connectors uh, on the back plate are here. Um, so these were these are for the keyboard and uh, external macro pad ports. I have a little bus here that I made. Um, just so uh, it's minimal desoldering. Uh, basically, I would have to to fully separate the two pieces. I would have to desolder these two leads here from the the switch. But um, yeah, so everything goes to this bus uh, so that I can easily uh, disconnect. Um, there's the LCD. Uh, you know, I popped everything open took the back off so I could break the buttons out. The buttons you can see, um, so I have a pointer or something, not really, uh, right, kind of right there, that little blue board stuck to the, to the top there. Uh, those are the buttons to control the, um, LCD. So all the wires to the external switches are right there macro pad with the uh, the Arduino Pro Micro uh, main control switch and then the, the reset switch for the uh, macro pad. Uh, so yeah, you got to have a little bit of uh, uh, creativity, a little knowledge of soldering and uh, connecting wires and you know all that uh, all that stuff to be able to make something like this but it's in my opinion it's it's really easy and uh, a nice weekend project you can get it done pretty pretty quickly the hardest part is is using those uh, nibblers to cut the cutouts out um, so yeah I may add like I said uh, the speakers um, which aren't gonna sound great but uh, it might be fun to just do it and then um, I also may add in a couple LEDs for the uh, for the turn switch uh, and I actually have a key activated turn switch coming in, uh, I think today, um, or no, tomorrow. So I'll probably switch out the, uh, the turn knob with the, with the key switch. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching.